The story of yeah. the day, right? A Florida woman credits her breast implant with saving her life. Kendra Ostrike has our story. Doctors say the stab victim's breast implant, similar to this one, had just enough saline in it to stop the knife from piercing her chest. And take a look at the hole the knife left behind. That was the best investment I'd ever made, <laughs> obviously. This 41-year-old Brevard County woman who doesn't want to be identified says the 6000 bucks she spent on breast augmentation three months ago was well worth it. Without the surgery, a recent stabbing could have cost her her life. It was just really lucky, fortunate. Just think about it. Three months ago, if it would have happened to her, she would have been dead. The victim says her ex-fiance's new girlfriend, Amy Winter, attacked her outside of his Melbourne apartment, first scratching her car, then turning the knife on her, stabbing her repeatedly in the left side of her chest. It happened so fast. I mean, I'm like, put down the knife, and I looked down, and I was covered in blood. Then she realized the knife had punctured the implant, and she was soaked with saline. Doctors say the salt water and walls of the implant prevented a deadly blow. When you stab this, this gives a little bit. So it probably gave and couldn't get through it. Then it went through it, and it couldn't get back through the back wall. Either she would have had a collapse lung or would have hit her heart. The victim's doctor at Artful Awakening says in his 30 years of cosmetic surgery, this is a first and gives him a whole new outlook. If something's going to save lives, if this saves lives, there's nothing wrong with passing legislation that everybody should have a breast prosthesis. And that was uh, Kendra Ostrike reporting. Until